What do you do when you have temperature sensitive components or known trouble spots on your PCB that really should be treated with different process specifications? Here I show a PCB with a BGA, DIP, and an electrolytic capacitor, or I'll call an ELCO for short. My BGA and DIP have the same specification, but I need to define a separate spec for my ELCO. This is made easy with Kix software. While defining your solder spec, uncheck the same specs for all TC button. Defining your solder spec was covered in the second part of this series. In this example, my first two thermocouples, TC2 and TC3, share the same spec. But TC4, which is attached to an ELCO, requires a different peak temperature. I have chosen to define a lower peak temperature tolerance for my ELCO. Now let's take a look at our profile that has created a separate peak temperature for our temperature sensitive components. As you can see, I have defined slope, soak, reflow, and peak for my dip and BGA, but I have only defined peak for my ELCO since it cannot tolerate as high as a temperature as my other components. Now my current profile was successful in maintaining my ELCO spec, but now my reflow and peak temperatures for my standard components are out of spec. Striking a balance between the unique needs of the ELCO with the remainder of your components can be a daunting task of trial and error, especially considering the large deltas between these components' peak temperature specs. So what can you do? Kix Software makes this next task a breeze by giving you a predicted solution, striking a balance across the board. Kix Navigator, Kix Prediction Utility, shows an in-spec profile now for all four variables, as well as my special ELCO spec, when using the new recommended oven set points shown here. Now all I need to do is change my oven set points, and I have an in-spec process for my DIPS, BGAs, ELCOs, all on the same PCB. To learn more, visit www.kickthermal.com.